Hey everybody, this is Melissa, and I'm back with a haul that I have. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joanne, and I picked up a few things. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just want to share them with you today. Okay, we're going to start off with Michaels, because this is what's on top right there. I think I had two bags from Michaels, but this is the first one. I just picked up some dollar things. I picked up a clothes pin. I want to alter this again. Another one. Um, I picked up this birdhouse. I'm going to do something with this. It's funny, but I'll explain it later. But yeah, I picked this up. I picked up a plaque. A little plaque. I'm going to put something on here alter it up a little bit and I have another close pen and I bought these shells I don't know why I bought the shells but I'll find something to do with them I guess they were only like 59 cents or something like that I'm not really sure how much they were. But I got two of them because they, like I said, they were only like a 59 cents or whatever. So, um, and also, from, no, that's going, well, I can't, okay, wait a minute. Also, from Michael's, I picked up some of these recollection die cuts and it's a mariposa um, pack and I have the mariposa stack paper paper stack so I'm going to use this to make a mini or a page some type of layout or maybe even a card but they have some clean little die cuts in here I can't open it but it has a lot of little butterflies and things like that look like the acetate and chipboard pieces a bird cage and things like that and then I brought some more bling some more recollection rhinestones and some more of the flowers And I keep saying I'm not going to buy any more paper, but ladies, I keep doing it. I don't know why. But here's some more flowers I purchased. They were all on sale. Let me move this camera back a little bit. My lighting is a little, I think because I have this light on. But if I turn it off, it's going to be too dark. So I'm going to put it back here. Um, but this was 3 for 10. I got some of this Recollections printed card stock. And this is called Elegance. I think it's really pretty. I thought it was something on there. And they have a coupon out. Um, it starts tomorrow, actually, the 27th through the 2nd of April. 25% off your total purchase. And then 40% off of um, some Jolie stickers and things like that. Um, then I just bought some more black cardstock couldn't have enough and since it was three for ten I didn't see too many more and then I got the printed one I didn't mean to do that okay and then this was like on sale I think it was like seven something but I used the coupon so I got it for cheaper than that and it's the Tim Holtz Paper Stash Retro Grunge Paper. And it's cute. And then I got the Susan Wright Designer Paper Pack from K and Company. And this is called Spring Blossom. And this is double sided. And it just has a lot of pretty flowers and butterflies on here. It's really pretty. It's 
more so probably for like layouts or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But it's pretty. And then, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I got it anyway. It's the Fashionably Chic Paper Stack by Recollections. It's not double-sided, but I thought it was pretty. It's springy. Sort of, kind of. But I like the paper. I'm not sure if I'm going too fast. But I don't know if you can really see it. My camera looks like it's on a crazy angle. And then I have the Animal Kingdom paper stack. And again, it's not double sided, but it has all the different animal prints and things like that. I think it's pretty. Yeah. And that's it for the paper, and I think that's it for Michael's. So I'm going to put this paper in here. And then from Hobby Lobby. I have a little headache, that's why I sound like this lady. But from Hobby Lobby, I just picked up a few things. Um, they had some ribbon, and I think it was like 50% off the everyday price, I think. I'm not sure. I only paid like a dollar or something for it. But I picked this. Uh oh, that was purple, ladies. I dropped it. <laughs> get it. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. It's some purple, like, saddle stitch ribbon. I might have to film this over because my lighting seems real off. Um, this is, like, pink sheer with some, like, roses. Well, I don't know what it is, but I thought it was cute. Then I picked up some more purple. Some red sheer with some um, pearls in it, twined in it. Um, some yellow and white. Some green, grow green polka dot. Green and white. Then some just regular green. Then some black with some pearls intertwined in it again. And then, I think this came from Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure. But I just got these Jolie stickers right here. I got me another EK Success um, cutter. Cutter B. Cutter. My other one. The retractable thing, it, it's hard to push in. I don't know where it is, but oh, here it is, right here. It won't stay in. I have to push it really hard for it to stay in, and I don't like that, but it's no need. In. It's, I just kept it, but I can have two, right, when I need to go out or something like that. If I ever go out to a crop or something, or to these. <laughs> um... I got these, but I used one for something. These Studio G's, and these from Joanne's. Um, I got some of these flower breads. I think I had purchased some of these before from, um, I don't know. I don't know how I got these in this bag. Okay. Um, I have some more die cuts in these by K and Company. And these are the Brenda Walton ones. And I got these from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to use these for something. Then I got these Bow Bunny Rub-Ons. From Hobby Lobby. I got some regular... Um, the Paper Studio Rub-Ons. And they, they're glitter. I thought those cute. 
And I have some of this blue awning paper, so they had some rub-ons from K and Company. So I just picked this up, so if I decide to do a mini with this, I, I'll have some rub-ons at least. And I have another polka dot ribbon, yellow and white. And then I bought this, um, the girls papery or something like that. And it has a dress form, a measuring tape, a bird, a clock, a flower, and so on. A key, a frame. I thought that was really cute. Um, and my last bag is from Joanne. They had some more blue awning stickers, chipboard stickers, so I purchased those. They were on sale. Everything at Joanne's was basically on sale. Then they had some Jolie um, stickers, and they're like keys and locks. I thought they were really cute. I could use that for something. And then this says, this stamp said, you are in my thoughts and prayers. It was on sale. It was only like two something. And then I picked up this La Creme chipboard stickers um, set right here. I have that paper stack as well. And maybe I can do something with it one day whenever I get to it. It's good to have. And then I purchased me another border punch. It's the Scallop Sentiment Border Punch by Fiskers. And the last thing, no. Then I purchased this stamp right here that says Hugs and Kisses. thought that was cute. It was only a dollar, I think. And last, I have a Martha Stewart punch. And it's the Quilted Punch. And... I said I was going to try to stack up, stock up on my punches and things like that. So it was on clearance for $7.97. And it's the quilted punch. So that's my haul, ladies. Um, I'll be back to show you my cards that I've made. And I'm going to clean this mess up. And I'll be back. But I'm not going to do it on this video because I'm already at 12 something. But just look out for a video, ladies, because I'm going to do an ATC swap. So just look out for that, and um, if you want to join, just let me know with an email. Not an email, with a comment or something, but like I said, it's going to be another video, but I'm getting ready to clean this up so I can show the cards that I've made. And until then, ladies, stay inspired as always, and you all have a great day. Bye.